गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट मैथ्स ग्रेड सिक्स चैप्टर सिक्स पेरीमीटर एंड एरिया सब टॉपिक पेरीमीटर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आफ्टर द सेशन लर्नर्स शुड बी एबल टू अप्लाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पेरीमीटर टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पेरीमीटर इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ एवरी डे सिचुएशन टू कैलकुलेट बाउंड्री लेंथ डीप डाइव इन रेसिस Usually there is a common finish line for all the runners. Here are two square running tracks with the inner track of 100 meters each side and outer track of 150 meter each side. So this is his track. Two tracks is inner track with this 100 meter this side and outer track is 150 meter each side. If the total race is 350 meters, then we have to find out where the starting position of the two runners should be on these two tracks so that they have the common finishing line after they run for 350 meters mark the starting point of the runner the inner track as a a and the runner on the outer track as a b so now we have to mark the runner this inner track as a a so total distance he will cover is 350 meters so this is a destination point therefore we are consider this is a marker j why we are considering this is we'll explain it up if we observe here this is b let us see a now inner point if you consider here he should reach the destination point covering 350 meters see here In this way, it's going. So he covered hundred meters. Next, towards left, hundred meters. Next, down, hundred meters. Next, fifty meters. So the total distance covered, starting point from this in the track is here, which covers three fifty meters. Hundred plus hundred plus hundred plus fifty. Next, let us see B. Here, one twenty five meters. So this is one twenty five. We have left out. Next one fifty meters. Next seventy five meters. The total distance covered by B is three fifty meters. So starting position on the outer track is point B, which covers three fifty meters. This service required points point A on the inner track and point B on the outer track. Both the distance will be. 350 meters. Estimate and verify. Akshay says the perimeter of this triangle shape is nine units. Roshi says it can't be nine units, and the perimeter will be more than nine units. What do you think? See, Akshay says the perimeter is nine units. Roshi says it's more than nine units. It will be more than nine units. The reason is, see here, this is the straight line of this. Units. So, this is a three units. This is a three units. But this, if we observe, this is a diagonal units. So we are covering with this blue. So we have to consider this as a perimeter as six side units plus three diagonal units. Why six side units means one, two, three, four, five, six. Then the diagonal units one, two, three. So perimeter will be six side units plus three diagonal units. Estimate and verify. Write the perimeters of the figure below in terms of straight and diagonal units. See here, this is a picture. Let us see here how many side units, straight units are there. One straight unit, two straight units, three, four, five, six. This is diagonal. This is seven, eight. The diagonal will be this. So total perimeter is equal to eight side units plus two diagonal units. Eight is this two d units or eight straight units or two diagonal units. Similarly, next figure. If we observe here, one. This is straight here, means unit. Sorry, two, three, four. Then 
the diagonal this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so therefore 4 sides and 6 diagonals nothing but 4s plus 3d units next picture the perimeter will be 12 sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 Diagonal will cross it as square 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, therefore, 12 sides and 6 diagonals. Let us see now here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, 18 side units, the diagonal will be in the circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 18 side units and 6 diagonal units. Let us see perimeter of a regular polygon. Like squares, closed figures that have all sides and all equal angles are called regular polygon. For example, this is a triangle, an equilateral triangle. So, perimeter is equal to three side units. As it is a regular polygon, which are the equal sides, like this as a one side, then all the sides are of the equal length. Therefore, perimeter is equal to three side units. Similarly, for square, perimeter is equal to four side units. Similarly, for pentagon, perimeter is equal to five side units. Let us do split and rejoin. A rectangular paper sheet of dimension 6 cm 4 cm cut in, as shown into two equal pieces. These two pieces are joined in different ways. For example, this is a rectangular paper of this 6 cm length and 4 cm width. Again, we are joining this in a different after cutting. Then, here, this this arrangement has a perimeter of 28 centimeters. Thus, 2 plus 12, the length will become now 12. Then, this is 2 centimeters, then 12 centimeters. So, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Nothing but 2 into L is 12. And this breadth is 2. So, 14 into 2 is 8 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter has this one as a 28 centimeters. Find out length of the boundary that is perimeter of each of the other arrangements below. Here, this is this given picture which is arranged. Now, as we know, this is this rectangle of this. The length is a 6 centimeters, so this point is 6. Next one is the length is 6 centimeters. Next is a 2 centimeters. In this one, this is already 2 squared over. So, total will be 6. So, 6 minus 2 will be here. This will become 4 centimeters. Next here also, similarly, 2 centimeters here. So, this length will become 4 centimeters. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 centimeters nothing but perimeter is equal to 14 centimeters let us see second figure if this rectangle is already 2 centimeters here then this will be 2 centimeters because length is total 6 centimeters then here the length is 6 centimeters next this breadth is 2 centimeters this is already 2 centimeters this length is 6 centimeters Next, 2 centimeters. Next, 6 centimeters. This is already 2 centimeters. Next one is 2 centimeters. Now, perimeter is equal to 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2. So, here, this is a 6, first side. Next, 2. Next, 2. Next, 6. Next, 2. Next, 6. Next, 2. Total perimeter is equal to 
28 centimeters. Let us see question number 3. If we observe here, this is 3 centimeters. Then this will be 3 centimeters because this is a rectangular length 6 centimeters. Then breadth is 2 centimeters. Now this length will be 6 centimeters. This is 2 centimeters. This already 3 centimeters is covered. So here this will be 3 centimeters. This will be 2 centimeters. This will be 6 centimeters. This will be 2 centimeters. This one is 3 centimeters. And this here breadth is 2 centimeters. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 26 centimeters. Arrange the two pieces to form a figure with a perimeter of 22 centimeters. Solution. Here, 6 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 1, 2, 6, 2, 1, 2. Therefore, here this perimeter is equal to 6 plus 2 plus 1, 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 22 centimeters. Thank you.